Hello everyone, this is Rati. In this video, let us learn how to work with blank value using DAX function. So let me, let us see this with an example. Here if you go to the data view, here we have mainly three tables, calendar table, price table and usage table. So in calendar table we have date all the month week detail while in price table we have all the price details and usage table or we have all the usage details so if you observe when compared with price date price table and usage date usage table some of the dates are matched and some of the dates are not matched so let us see how to work with this in Power BI, let us go to calendar, let us sort month by month number, week by week number, let us go to report model view and let us see the relationship. So let us create relationship between these three tables. Price date date. Okay, we have created the relationship. Now go to the report view and here select the table. And in this table, from calendar, select date. Select date. Okay, I have selected date. Go to price and select price go to usage table and select usage so if you observe only some values are matched between price and usage dates and in other values where, uh, where we have price usage column is missing and where we have usage price, uh, price column price values are missing so let us see how to work with this table so first let us find the total expense using by creating a measure let us create a measure new measure we will find the total expense by multiplying price with usage total expense equal to sum of say sorry price detail price into sum of usage table usage now use take this measure into columns so we got the result here but this result is not correct because where there are blank values we are not getting the correct result so let us work with this values, blank values by using fill down option. So let us use some DAG formulas to fill down this price column. So now I am creating under measure. I am saying new price. new 
2 price equal to so here I am going to use not last non blank value for that function here. So it is nothing but it evaluates an expression filtered by the sorted values of a column and returns the last value of the expression that is not non blank. So here it has mainly two parameters column, a column or an expression that returns a single column table and the expression, an expression evaluated for each value of column. So, the return value is the last non-blank value of expression corresponding to the sorted values of column. And I am also using dates between that function, dates between calendar date, comma, first value will be blank. and maximum of calendar date column comma max of price price column so this is the function so nothing is this function just fill down the price value columns where we have blank values. So I am adding this new measure here. So if you can see observe that we have just applied fill down method by using blank values sorry by using fill down uh, some by using dax dax functions now again we have to calculate the top total expense but again we have some blank values in usage column here so what we will do is here let us filter this page and select non blank word is not blank apply filter so then we will get only the non blank values in the usage column now we can create uh, now let us get the total expense create new measure new expense equal to on to some new value new price value into sum of usage column usage close the bracket click enter Now select this new measure. So if you observe we got the correct result now. So first we have just used the fill down using some DAX formula and created the new expense. So this is how we work with blank values using DAX functions. So this is all about today's video. Thank you.